Charlie's Angels is based off of the legendary TV show which ran from 1976 to 1981 and of which I've never seen a single episode. We then got two films in the early 2000s directed by the frankly terrible McGee, neither of which I've seen, but my script guy, favourite film Space Boobs from Outer Space, refused point blank to watch more than 10 minutes of either. I tell you, you just can't get the staff these days. There was then a rebooted TV show in 2011 which nobody saw as it was cancelled after 7 episodes, and now in 2019 we have the franchise rising from the dead yet again with, well, Charlie's Angels. Sworn to secrecy, bound by sisterhood as the tagline goes. And in the age of Me Too, and with more and more female-led films coming through, I was intrigued to see if this franchise could finally live up to its premise. I mean, how hard is it to make a good action film these days? And look, I'm aware that there's a whole political debate happening with this film, but one, I've always maintained that I don't care what's happening in the kitchen as long as my meal is tasty. Two, I don't know enough about feminism to talk about in any way, shape or form. And three, I have enough politics already in my life trying to decide what lunatic I want running the asylum that used to be my country. Besides, I already have enough to talk about with the actual film, which I haven't actually seen a lot of people talk about, so I really feel like we should talk about that instead, because, well... It's a disaster, on pretty much every level. I mean, the casting is frankly bizarre. I mean, I get casting Naomi Scott after Aladdin and Power Rangers, she seems like the right fit, but Kristen Stewart? Yes, she's arguably one of our finest working actors, just watch Personal Shopper if you don't believe me, but as an action star, she just doesn't fit. And as for Ella Belinska, she's fine in her role as a badass fighter, but up against two fairly recognisable actors, she just sort of sticks out. I have questions about the plot as well. I mean, I'm glad that the angels no longer unquestioningly follow orders from a man they've never met, but from what I can gather in the show and previous films, they were private detectives with clients. Now they seem to be basing themselves off of the Kingsman. Where's the money coming from? Are they picking their own missions now? Anyway, the plot's so simple I had it all worked out in the first 15 minutes. Almost every single male character was stupid, evil, sleazy, incompetent, or some combination of all four. None of our female characters appear to have any flaws, which makes them uninteresting to watch. The tone wavers all over the place. One minute, they're ripping off the tone from Spy Kids, of all things. Then we have what's meant to be a slick infiltration scene, culminating what I think is meant to be a serious moment for our characters, but it goes nowhere, and within a minute, our heroines are excitedly playing dress-up. The, what I think were supposed to be comedic lines, mostly revolving around Stuart's character, um, Angel 2, liking to eat food, fell flat. The action was okay, I guess, but there's very little tension in any of it. We get taken from Rio to LA to at least three other countries, meaning there's not much time to take anything in. And to be honest, I've seen similar films with similar ideas do so much better. The Angels all get one-line backstories, which I wouldn't mind were there, say, an interesting villain who poses more threat than a pizza to a hungover student, or a plot more interesting than a MacGuffin hunt. And look, I know full well that this film was not made for me in any way, shape or form, but I'm not even sure that my hypothetical daughter would find it interesting. There's just something about this film that feels like it was designed to be a kids movie, with spunky teenagers standing up to an evil corporate entity, but then some higher up decided to give it a more international James Bond flavour, and then gave the job to God alone knows how many script writers. I'm not opposed to the idea of a Charlie's Angels film. I think given the right direction that it could be good, but this... Even leaving aside all of the debates and discussions about its politics and director's comments and focusing on the film itself, I just can't find very much to recommend. I mean, if you want a girl power movie, then Spice World provides a more cohesive narrative with more loves and better developed characters. Also, this film feels edited to hell. I'm in no way, shape or form asking for a director's cut or longer version, but adding some more connective tissue wouldn't have hurt. If this was supposed to be the start of a new franchise, then it failed. If it was trying to be a fun action movie, then it failed. It's not completely hopeless, but the script needed a lot more work doing to it. The action scenes needed to be a lot better, the characters more developed, the plot less predictable, and maybe casting three lead actors of equal fame, as opposed to two well-known actors, and one who this time last year was a bit part in an episode of Midsummer Murders? Look, Charlie's Angels is better than last year's awful The Spy Who Dumped Me, but it suffers from a lot of the same issues, which is a shame as there was some potential here. Just not enough to overcome its many, many flaws. So, I definitely think that you should skip it. But, what do you guys think? And what is your favourite girl power movie? Comment below, let me know. I'm Daniel the Spinner Dunking. If you've enjoyed this video, please like, share and subscribe.